Inland Sports. And welcome back, everybody, to the Inland Sports Show. Big shout out to Jake Retzlaff, the quarterback at RCC, and his brother Reggie. In fact, we were talking off the air. Uh, we, we didn't even get to it because the, the interview went a little bit long. But yeah, RCC, they actually lost to Golden West and Jake uh, last season during the regular season. Then RCC turned around, beat him in that SoCal championship game. So a uh, friendly rivalry there. It's going to be a lot of fun this upcoming season at RCC once again. Now we're uh, transitioning to high school football. We made it. It's week zero. We cannot be more fired up. And this guy is a dear friend friend of the show joining us live from Indian Springs practice the one and only Chris Chaddick head football coach for the Coyotes and coach you were out there on the practice field I heard you yelling and getting your guys ready how fired up are you just to play a real game oh man I can't wait this is what it's all about all the grind all the long time all the hitting each other we're tired of it we're ready to hit somebody else we're ready to go can't wait for it to happen and coach, listen, I'm excited about Indian Springs, but I know you are really excited about this year's team. You got some guys back. You're going to be strong at the skill positions. What do you like about this year's team? Uh, the first thing I like the most is these guys got a chip on their shoulder. They were one game away from going to CIF championship, and we have a lot of returners that had the taste. Uh, they had that appetizer, and they're ready to eat some dinner. Uh, they're hungry. It's a mission-minded team, and the team is closer than it's ever been. I think in order to, uh, you know, get to that next level before you can, uh, before you can, you know, have the X's and O's right, you got to have the family situation right. We always talk about our family versus your team. You know, we talk about forget about me, I love you, the family. And we're, we're always talking about, hey, what are we going to do to be the, what are we going to do to be the best? We, we have to build a, a great foundation. I think the foundation of the young men that we have is outstanding. Uh, we have four all CIF returners coming back. You know, we have uh, yeah, Binky Harris. Uh, that young man had 2,500 all-purpose yards. Uh, we have uh, Nemo Neal, who was all CIF as a sophomore, 91 tackles, seven sacks. He's just a different human. He's on a different level. Was the uh, big MVP in both track and wrestling. Um, we, we, you know, we've got ourselves several guys that are just going to do some great things. We've got, uh, you know, we've got ourselves, uh, let's see who else is returning. Oh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Jimenez, that's an, uh, another all CIF guy that's returning. And, uh, you know, it, it, the, the sky is the limit. Uh, I just, I really believe in this group. I believe in the future. And I have some great coaches, Coach Gary Hedlund, uh, great offensive coordinator, Axel Rivas, wide receivers coach. Mark Burrito, who I coached at Summit High School, is bringing some CIF championship experience. We've got Cordell Brewster back there in the corner, fresh off of his uh, coming coming off of his Arena League season, three year starter at Louisiana Lafayette, ready to lock our offensive line down. And you know, uh, we got the Johnnies and jo Joes, and we got the coaches to teach them the X's and O's. So I'm really really stoked. Oh, and Coach Jesse Green, uh, one of our new running backs coaches. Well, Coach, you mentioned that foundation that you guys, you know, have laid down at, there at Indian Springs. And when you look back at last year, which is definitely a huge part of that foundation, you know, making school history by making the playoffs, winning a playoff game, getting to the semifinals. You mentioned it. You guys were so close to getting to a championship game for, for yourself and, uh, of course, the returning players. How, how, you know, how bad do you want it based on how close you came last year? Oh, I mean, like I said, it, it's with the guys, that's all they can think about. They, they, they talk about how the job is unfinished, one away. And, and I really do believe if we stay healthy and if we, you know, maintain the integrity of the standard, if we keep doing what we're doing, I, I have no doubt, no doubt in my heart that we will be competitive and have a shot at this thing. Um, you know, we're, we're going to have our ups and downs because we have a younger line and experienced line and it's going to take some time for them to gel. But once they do, you know, watch out. I, I really believe that the sky is the limit for this group. We had a great summer, great off season, um, you know, took on some bigger teams and seven on seven. And, you know, one of the things that I love about this program is, you know, we're knocking on the door and we're no longer just, oh, that's the Indian Springs you schedule for homecoming. Like, we, we are a legitimate program. I believe in what we are building here. I believe in this group. And, and I believe that we're going to get everybody's best shot. And, and I welcome that. I don't care what anybody thinks about us anymore because I know there's expectations. And I'm glad that there's expectations because now we have to live up to them. It's our duty to live up to them. And we will. We will. 
All right, Coach, opening up on the road, Desert Hot Springs. Uh, you'll get it cracking to, to get the season going. What, what are you hoping to see from your team on Friday night playing on the road? Well, I just want to see them uh, compete, number one. Number two, I just want them to uh, have a great time, have fun. Uh, my guys are a bunch of guys that when they have fun and they're playing free and they're, you know, they're themselves, they're playing with their little swagger, uh, they're amazing. I, I want to see I want to see that. I want to see the team just gel. I want to see what we do. Um, I, I want to watch some of the young guys that we have that are out here uh, that, you know, we're part of the process, come along and step up. I, there's so many things I want to see, but most of all, I just want to see a great game. I, I want to see hopefully an Indian Springs victory and uh, us staying healthy and just learning. As long as we constantly learn, as long as we have fun, and as long as we uh, do what we need to do, you know, the road to success is constantly under construction. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're going to take it day by day, minute by minute. You know, it's, we're, we're just going to relish this whole thing. Well, Coach, listen, I always appreciate your time, and I know it's very valuable right now. You are actually on the field practicing right now for that first sure. game of the season. There it is, a live look at Indian Springs. Coach, you're the yes, best. I, hey, hey here, here's, the, here's the greatest thing. For the first time since COVID season, we have a lower level. We have 52 kids on our roster. If you know anything, I'm pepping around. I had a roster the year uh, we won league with 18 kids. So to go from 18 to 52, <laughs> hallelujah, God is good. So, you know, we're, 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 we're very happy about that. I'm, I'm glad that I don't have to one platoon anymore. We actually have guys that can <laughs> just play one way. It's a beautiful thing. Amen. Iron Man football. Hey, coach, God bless you. I hope you have a great season. Good luck on, on Friday night at Desert Hot Springs. And uh, again, I always appreciate you always making time for me. Inland Sports Show, Sports Weekly on IMG, all that stuff. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all you do. And shout out to my kids. You know, I, I, that, dad will be home soon. I love you. Take care. <laughs> Bye. All right. That is head coach Chris Chaddick from Indian Springs High School live with the Coyotes as they get ready for their week zero game. All